This is uh, Jeff with Charge On with Jeff. I am on my way to Florida from West Virginia in the Ford F-150 Lightning Lariat Extended Battery Edition. What you're going to see next is uh, a stop I had earlier today at the Tesla version 4 charge supercharger in Columbia, South Carolina, which was set up for Magic Dock. It was my first experience with Tesla charging with the F-150 Lightning. So let's jump into that, take a peek at how that charging session went and my experience with the version four Tesla supercharger in a Ford Lightning. So we are arriving at the Tesla version four housing. Most of these I think still have version three guts, version three electronics. But we arrived, we got to a 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Warmer temperatures, we're in the 60s now. Flat terrain. I was driving 75 with traffic. Well, <laughs> most traffic uh, down 77. And so we need to see, get the Tesla app going, make sure we can talk to this. I'm curious to see, I am pretty much just parked as normal here and so the big test is, does the version four cable reach a 150 Lightning in a standard parking position? Let's check it out. It looks like we are charging on the Tesla version four, version three electronics, as my understanding. And you can see the state of charge. This is the, what you see on the app, the Tesla app. As you are charging, let me see if I can go out of here. Does that change anything? Okay, so if I go back to the app, I can scroll there on the main page, but it keeps charging in progress up at the top. And you can see we are pulling down 160 kilowatts. So let me show you how we're set up here. Some of the details on the charger. Output power 250 kilowatts. Output current 631 amps. Cabinet one. Uh, there are two other Teslas here at the time. I'm not sure which cabinet. And you can see that my parking isn't terrible. I'm in pretty much in the spot in the cable reaches just fine. So Tesla version four casing and cabling with the magic dock here in Columbia, South Carolina. This is the Forest Drive and Forest Acres location. And I'm gonna go see what they have nearby. I think that might be a target there. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna go see what amenities are nearby. I need to go to the restroom. But what a cool situation. I really wanted to check this out. So I kind of diverted my trip today to make sure I checked out these uh, superchargers. And so for the first time, I'm charging on a supercharger. This is what the Magic Docks look like in the Tesla app for non-Tesla owners. They'll show you the location in this case. It was on Forest Drive and there are 12 stalls available. This is the bill for my supercharging. You can see I used 73 kilowatt hours at 50 cents for 36.50. Okay, well, I've never been so excited about charging an electric vehicle, but this has gone very well. We were at 177, we were at 150 for the bulk of the time. Now we're over 80% state of charge and it's starting to ramp down. So we are going to head out, but what a great experience here with the Tesla supercharger in Columbia, South Carolina, version four cabinet, version four cabling, but version three interior, but that works perfectly for the Lightning. 
and what a great experience. I can't tell you uh, how excited I am to see more of these in the country, but I don't think there are many, especially in the East right now. So let's start, let's keep our journey going down to Brunswick, Georgia.